Hey guys, welcome back. I just got done work for the day. I'm headed now to go meet somebody that's uh, buying a couple of things from us that we had posted online. Uh, I got about 30 minutes to spare before I'm supposed to meet them and I figured why not do a 30 minute fishing challenge. There's a spot that I drive by a lot that I've never seen anybody fishing that looks like it'd be a great place for bass. So I'm gonna stop off and give it a try. Here's the spot I was talking about. It looks really good. We've got some grass out here, we've got some weeds, we've got some pads. So I'm gonna throw a Senko today and just see what I can find out here. As you can tell from the idaho here, this isn't really that hidden of a spot. There goes a car right behind me. Yeah, it's passed out on over these pads here. I mean, I can catch one that's chilling out underneath the pads. Man, it's nice out. I just see a little fish jump over there. It's definitely fish in here. Oh, oh, no, it's grass. Well, there's all kinds of little fish jumping in here. Oh, oh. Ah, there we go. There we go. There's one. Oh, little one. There we go. Wow. Third cast already. Ha! Ah. Yeah. yeah. That's a nice little fish. Take that. There we go. Yeah, just a little pip squeak, but it'll do. There we go. First fish. Yes, I know I'm in my uh, dress clothes here, but I wasn't really planning on doing this today. I didn't bring any clothes with me. I just happened to have my fishing stuff and some time to kill, and I thought, why not? Might as well do a fishing challenge here and see what I can catch in 30 minutes. So I apologize in advance of any uh, audio problems if you have any trouble hearing me. I'm literally three feet off of the edge of the road, so... <laughs> I'm also looking over here, and I can see like a little inlet where I feel like some of the water flows in here to this little pond. And I'm wondering if it's some place that I can get to in the future here, the kayak. I see some nice fish jumping over there already, so... I'm going to have to explore that, maybe take a look on Google Maps, see what I can find. Give a cast out over towards those pads again, because usually where there's one, there's more. Just throwing out the Sanko here, letting it sink a little bit, and then just kind of slowly walking it in here through the weeds. I don't think I got hooked in some weeds here this time. Oh yeah. Get that in, get that cleaned off here. Nope, oh, came off. Ah, that's perfect. Right there in those pads over there.
missed him. Man, this place looks like it would have some nice big bass in it. We just had a cold front come through yesterday, and imagine the fishing here probably was a little bit better then, but... any little logs down there. You can feel it hitting, rolling over the top of them. Must be some sticks or logs down in there. Great place for bass to be hiding. Yeah, just walk it in. That's what I mean by some of the weeds and grass that I've got going on out here. This old Texas rig, five inch thing. Wow, there's a big blow up over here. I wonder if I can get over there. The fish are just jumping here all times of the day. Definitely busy today. Just kind of throwing it out, letting it sink down. It's most often when I get hit, it's right after it hits the water and it starts sinking down with a little bit of that action. I'd probably say 75% of the fish I catch off the Senko is usually off of the initial cast and drop. About 25% or so is the audio on that. 25% or so is off just the reeling in. I felt a little something tugging on there. Okay, time check right now. I've got about 10 minutes left of this 30-minute uh, fishing challenge, and well, so far only one fish. I think this could be the last cast for this spot. I'm gonna move down just a little bit. Saw some more pads down the road just a little bit by where I parked the truck. All right, so I'm just moving down the uh, pond here. Got one more spot. I'm gonna try. I got about five minutes left, so. We'll see. We'll see what's going to happen. It's been fun though. It's always fun when you can do some fishing when you get out of work. Man, this looks pretty good. I'd be surprised if I don't catch anything in here. Got some nice pads right here. Some of the cheese as we call it out here. Let's, uh, yeah, let's give it a whirl. We'll see. some grass on this one. Let's hope the line doesn't break on this. Woo! I can't even see the fish. There's so much stuff. I think I'm going to have to use the net on this guy. There we go. Needed the net to get this one. <laughs> Not going down in there with my dress shoes. There we go. There, that's a little bit better fish right there. It's probably a two pounder. Get a little bit closer for you guys to take a look. Man, yeah, that's a lot nicer. I think the big old mouth on that thing. Man, catching fish 
the end of the day in your work clothes. This is fun. All right, let's go ahead and get this guy back in the water. Give him a little toss down there. See you, buddy. Thanks for playing. Well, that about does it for my 30-minute fishing challenge in my work clothes after work. I'm heading out now to go meet the lady that I'm selling the stuff to. If you uh, like this video, feel free to hit the like button down below. Also, please hit the subscribe button. I got some more content coming with my kids and maybe some of their little 22s later. As always, thanks for watching. See ya!